Our Night with Elvis is a feature-length screenplay, my version of what happened when Elvis and the Beatles met. Driving John Lennon is based on the most climactic and important scene of that screenplay. If you're looking for trouble, you came to the right place. If you're looking for trouble... The most important element of a film, any film, is the acting. More than the director, more than the script, if you've got a great script performed by lousy actors, it's like watching karaoke at a local bar. But if you've got actors who can light up a screen, I mean really engage the audience, as a filmmaker, you've hit a home run. I had auditioned maybe a dozen actors that night. The last two to walk through the door were Alex and Max. They arrived at exactly the same time, just coincidentally, they didn't know each other. But I immediately felt the right energy and saw the look, so I had them read together. About 40 minutes went by, we had gone through the script maybe 10 times, and that's what I knew. I had the actors I needed to pull this thing off. I never look for trouble, but I never ran. I don't take no orders from no kind of man. We had looked at it in color. We decided that although we liked the reds, the bright reds and the blacks like the car, we decided ultimately that the retro look of black and white made it look more like a classic film, which is what we were going for. There's a scene in the movie, uh, really the main scene, uh, where Elvis is uh, talking about how he lost his drive and why he's really not creating anymore. And it's a very emotional scene. You know, he's talking about his mother, he's talking about how he's been uh, taken advantage of by his, uh, his manager. And uh, we decided that shooting it in the classic film noir style where the main character is facing the camera and not the person he's talking to, first of all, it made it more dramatic. And second of all, it made it seem as though he wasn't even really aware that John Lennon was even there anymore. This doesn't seem like something that uh, Elvis would say to someone else. Some, these are his personal thoughts. And it's kind of an afterthought that John Lennon's even there. And John Lennon even seems shocked that uh, Elvis is being so open with him. And it really works because of the way that scene is shot. That tiny little studio, with Scott and Moore and Bill Black, we didn't even know what the hell we were doing. We just knew it was it. And then Sam sold my contract to RCA so he could invest in some hotel chain. You know what he told me? He said, I made you. I can make other Elvises. He sold me for a lousy 35 grand. So you've got Elvis Presley and John Lennon literally squaring off on a lonely stretch of Mulholland Highway. What starts as a near fist fight turns into this soul-bearing conversation. Elvis opens up to John Lennon about his entire life up to this point. He talks about his exploitation by his, uh, his handlers, Sam Phillips and Colonel Parker. More importantly, he opens up about the death of his mother, which left Elvis emotionally crippled the rest of his life. But what's even more surprising is Lennon's reaction. Here you have the two biggest and most influential icons in rock music history who could not be more different as people. And that is the message of driving John Lennon. Then came the army. My mom died in 59. It's been six years and every morning I still wake up with this ache inside my belly. It's an emptiness. I can't shake it. All the money, women, cars, nothing helps. I think I just lost my drive the day she passed. Me and mom died in 58. Run over flat by a motor car. I was only 17. Don't know what to tell you, man. It just made me stronger. Made me want it all the more. Guess we're just different.